Perhaps you believe that yachts are more intriguing than maxi ribs. However, this is the Techno Rib P50. Voglio invitarvi a vedere questo servizio dicendovi che il disegno della carretta I'd like to bring you on board so you can see up close that this hull design is from the Manafelt design team, a studio that has developed masterpieces when it comes to competitions and fast professional boats. Naturally, the shipyard Technorib also took part in the project and as a result, the permission to use the Pirelli trademark was granted clearly with severe criteria to ensure the product's quality. It is a good idea when boarding as a guest to immediately know where the safety equipment is. When you hop on board an inflatable boat, you perceive different sensations compared to a yacht. It is not just a concept of style or sportiness. Maybe it just happens to me, but I feel freer, less formal. If I had to use a hashtag, it would be hashtag sport life rather than hashtag luxury life. Even though, to be honest, this is more than luxurious. It is great to walk 15 meters on the same level without any obstacles. If you want, you can even run. The bow is more than a solarium. It is also a dinette area where you can sit and chat and even sip a cocktail. Here and there we find the tread of Pirelli tires. It is inevitable. The handrails allow us to stay here, in the bow, even during navigation. And the backrest allows us to lie down without interfering with the pilot's view. The windshield is a trademark borne along with the smaller models and is also maintained on this maxi rib. Its extension is a fiberglass hardtop, which contributes to giving it a very sporty image. Drinking and eating are among the many pleasant things you can do in the middle of the sea, and this double row of kitchen furniture is just waiting to be equipped as you wish. I would not give up the grill, the induction plates, the fridge, the ice maker, and I would add a wine cellar. There is no hassle on board, there are no furniture or cushions to move to transform the areas. Dinette and aft sun deck are large and coexist, but if you really want, you can move these backrests. The sporting spirit that characterizes the rib is also present below deck. The most comfortable cabin is forward. It has storage spaces next to the bed and LED lights emphasize the shapes. The aft cabin has a very large surface and has two berths that can be joined into a very large double. A special limited edition has the bathroom divided in two that separates the two cabins, which also have independent access. There is also a version with diesel stern drives, but this one with outboards still has a very large swimming platform. And now let's try it with the 600 horsepower Mercury Verado V12. On the navigation bridge, there are two large Garmin displays customized for the Pirelli P50. This is the page that we can keep in navigation where all the bilge pump alarms are present and we can, of course, also activate them. There are also other pages, such as the alarms page, which is a summary of all the alarms. There is even an activation light page and then that of the levels, the tank of the generator and those of the propulsion engines, and finally, the page of other utilities, the refrigerators, the autoclave. Basically, you can have everything under control. Navigation too, of course. Anche la navigazione, ovviamente. Let's go. Non 
mi sono ancora abituato a vedere quelle calate. I still haven't gotten used to seeing those grills standing still as I turn the wheel. Yes, the stern drive is steered. The engine is firmly fixed on the transom. sullo specchio di poppa. With 1,200 horsepower and four propellers, two for each outboard, how long does it take to play? Very little. This is the minimum planing pace. The engines are at 2,700 RPM and we are at 12 knots. Consumption is high because this is not the best setting, but it is the ideal one if you find very rough sea conditions. Today the sea is rough, there is wind, but the waves are not very high. They form from a fresh wind. The only difficulty is that they are abrupt and steep. Let's get to cruising speeds. You may have noticed that the tubulars do not touch the water, and this does not allow the inner tubes to control the healing. Regardless, it is useful for speed. In any case, the tubulars are a precious buoyancy reserve in case of emergency situations and make mooring in port easier. Twenty knots of speed, at this time against the waves consumption is around 8 litres per mile. But keep in mind that this version is packed with accessories and that we have full tanks. Manafelt has designed two redans under this hull and it is necessary to exceed 25 knots in order to fill their effectiveness. By the way, at 25 knots, consumption dropped to 7.5 litres per mile. Let's see at 30. This is proof of what I was saying just now. 32 knots, 6.5 litres per mile. We go faster and the consumption per mile is lower because the efficiency of the hull increases. I gave some trim. Now let's try veering to test the accuracy of the course. When the side is exposed to the waves, that is when you have the hull on the beam, it is often difficult for it to keep the precise direction. Yet in this case, I do not need to touch the rudder. I do not need to touch the throttles. I do not need to correct anything. And the veer continues exactly how I set it up. Clearly, it is a hull of 15 meters, but it is evident that the weight distribution on board is such that it will not affect the rib's behavior, regardless of changes in surface conditions. The tubulars, being high, do not control the drift, but the angle is not at all frightening and not at all exaggerated. Despite the poor lighting conditions, which are not favourable to the camera, I position the rib following C and go full throttle. A little trim makes the bow lighter, moves the wake towards the stern, reduces drag and makes us run faster. You'll notice a slight roll because at this moment we have a beam C and not a following C. But the rib is still very precise. 45 knots, windward stern, full throttle, trim up. Let's draw out the sporting soul of these Mercury Verado super engines, 12 V-cylinders of 600 horsepower each, and let's reach 48 knots. Some members of the boat show crew are in the cabin below deck, so clearly if we had fewer people on board, the fewer litres of fuel, water and diesel for the generator. And if we didn't have such a big generator, surely we would be exceeding 50 knots. Sicuramente passeremo i 50 nodi.